All right, looks like we had a little bit of a technical problem there. You never know what's gonna happen, do you? Okay, so I think I'll start over again. Um, I was trying to say hello to everybody and tell you that I hope everything's going well for you. Uh, obviously things aren't going well for me on the tech side. Uh, Wirecast just quit unexpectedly. That's I think the first time that's ever happened to me. Otherwise, I tell you what, it's a pretty good piece of software. Anyway, I was saying that these drawings are meant to be done for anybody of any age and that hopefully um, you find them to be something that you can keep up with and enjoy. And what I was also saying is that you know the old saying, if at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you. <laughs> so we'll jump right to some drawing now. All righty dighty now. <clears throat> I was also saying, in case you missed it, uh, I'm not sure where I cut off there, that we all need a break, don't we? We need a break. It's important to give yourselves a little breather sometimes. And so for that, I highly recommend drawing. And this first part of the show, the You Draw It, is where I'll draw something, you follow along with me, and we do it together, and it's just a blast. So to do this, you're going to have to be able to do three simple things. You have to be able to do a straight line, okay, a zigzag. All right, and a curvilinear line. All right, like that. So you could be a C curve, whatever you like. Now, if you can do those things, you can follow along with our drawings. And today's is a nice one. I like this one. Yesterday, we drew a conductor. If you hadn't joined us yesterday, that was a fun one. Today, we're not going to be doing the what is it game. We're going to start with the you draw it, then we're going to do a who made that. That's a little bit of art history for everybody. And we'll finish as usual with the animal and activity game. I can't wait for you all to join in for that one. So grab a pencil, grab a pen, grab a stick, grab a crayon and a marker, whatever you like, and we can follow along and do a U-Draw right now. And we're going to start with a triangle. Let me show you. Like this and like that. All right, now the bottom of that triangle is actually going to be quite long, all right? So I'm going to first finish off my triangle like this. Alrighty, zoom in a bit so you can see this. And then I'm going to extend that triangle out this way, about that far on this side and about that far on that side. So we've got some symmetry going on there, right? Now I'm going to drop down from these original corners of the triangle, okay? Just inside, like so. And then on the other side, like so. All right, that feels about right to me. And then I'm going to do this. Come down that way, a little bit further, and come down that way. All right, pretty nice. That is the beginning of our drawing. All right, now, this line that I just drew here, watch, I'm gonna extend it out a little further like that and do the same thing on this side. Almost like we have an arrow facing downwards, right? And then I'm going to pop it up that way and pop it back that way. Okay. Uh, are you ready for the next step? All right, well, it's very simple. We're just going to have a line come down this way. And then another one come down that way. Okay, look at the width of those, the space between those two lines. Again, symmetry, right? Okay, now here comes another V. V, V, just like that. And that is the beginning of our drawing. Let's zoom out a little bit, you can see that. Um, as I always say, I'm drawing digitally here, so the size that I'm drawing might vary a little bit from what you're doing. Maybe it's you know, an inch or two inches wide or 
tall. Don't worry about that. You draw the size that feels comfortable for your hand, okay? So don't worry about that. All right, next step, this is an easy one. Remember this line we just drew here for the V? Just carry it a little further and then connect it there. Carry this one a little further and then connect it there, just like that. Pretty simple, right? Okay, now here comes a long diagonal line. Watch this. Out we go to about there. How long is it, you might ask? Well, you know, we can always use that measuring trick where I say, all right, I'm going from here to here, right, halfway. If I look at that distance there, I can say, well, that's about the same length as maybe hmm, here to here, right? This corner of the hat to about there. Or maybe if I look at this whole length right here for the entire brim of the hat, I think I'm about the same. Okay, or maybe slightly longer. But you can use comparative measuring when you do your drawings, and that's the easiest way to determine how long something needs to be. Okay, now I'm gonna stop right about here under this little area right here. All right, see this little corner? Drop straight down, make a mark right there because that's where I'm gonna make another line. That line is going to come out slightly. It's not gonna be a perfect vertical, it's gonna come out slightly, and it's gonna be about that long, like that. That feels good to me. Okay, everybody with me so far? I'll pause for a moment, say hi to folks in the chat, see how we're all doing here today. We have some folks here joining me, Sam and Heather and Steven, and Steve and Ariana and Matt and Corey and Celine and Clever and Robert, and Juris, how you doing? Nice to see you. Oh my gosh, all these nice people joining in for some drawing. Nice to see everybody. Thank you for hanging out for today's draw along. Hey Heather, nice to see you as well. Mercurial, hello, hello. A park ranger, eh? Mm hmm, interesting idea, interesting idea. Well, we'll just keep going and we'll see where we go, all right? Uh, now, for this next line, I am going to come over here and just stop right about there, okay? And then, whoop, there's a little line like that. Make a little break. See that little space right there? Okay. And then down this way. Okay, see, I, I left another little gap right there. Now here I'm gonna do a little curved line. Watch, curve it and stop right about there. All right, and then connect. What do you suppose that is? Well, it's an arm, yes. We do have a figure here that we're drawing, okay? Now this is fun. I'm gonna come across this way. See that? And then I'm just gonna go one, two, three. And then see how these three lines are parallel with one another? This one's gonna break from that, like that. Like that. So we have that pinky finger kind of separating out like that. That's a fun thing to do. Just add a little variety, a little spice if you like. Hmm? Let's come down this way, okay? And then let's cut across like that. And I'm gonna come up slightly from here. Actually, you know what? I think we're gonna continue our symmetry before we do anything else. So remember this line we drew right here? We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna come out about to there. All right, it's okay if that angle isn't exactly the same. Don't you worry about that. All right, and then here, another little break, another little break, and then straight on out like that. Okay, and then down. All right, now, how am I gonna connect it all? Well, I'm going to do a straight line back to about here. Remember, you can always give yourself a little dot to aim for. So back I go, like so. And then I'm gonna come up, but before I come up, I wanna give myself some symmetry. I'm gonna look at the space I have between here, the neck, and this side of what are actually gonna be overalls. Okay, so I come down and I'm gonna hit that same spot over here, okay? And then I'm gonna draw that down, slight angle, slight angle, slight angle, right to about there. Now I don't have to worry about how far back to take that line, it's naturally gonna get interrupted by the line that I already had there, so we're in good shape. So back that goes like so, okay? And I can then finish this with some symmetry and come right across like that. So far, so good. Now, that line I just drew here, guess what? I'm gonna draw it again right here, okay? See that? Same distance. 
And then I'm just gonna do this, curve it that way, C curve and the C curve, right? Put little buttons there. Very nice, very nice. All right, what's next? We gotta draw this hand, all right? Now to do that, I'm gonna come up, zig, zag. See that zigzag? It's lovely. All right, there's that zigzag. And then I'm going to do just one, two, three, four, and a little curve like that, okay? All right, now, see how I left a little gap right there? It's because I'm going to draw a line here, all right, and I'll leave that be for now. Later I'm gonna make it longer than that, okay? It's gonna be longer. And draw another one right there. All right, now here, just pretend this is coming right through. I'm gonna come up and up, all righty? And then I'm gonna cut it off with a straight line, like so. And now here comes a little bit of a curve, tiny curve up to a straight line, all right? One in the middle, and you guessed it, over here on this side, what are we doing? Symmetry again, more symmetry. And there you have it. I think by now we might have figured out what we're drawing, right? Okay, now, right here where this pinky finger ends, okay? I'm gonna have this come out a little bit and I'm gonna drop straight down, straight down to about here. Now that's a long line. The longest line we've drawn, done in the whole drawing, right? Again, how long is it? Well, you have to find something to compare it to. If I were to compare it to this line from the overall um, strap to the hand, I'd say it's about twice that length. Okay, that's about right. All right, and we're gonna come across like so. Make these nice wide legs. All right, and I'm gonna come down from about there. All right, that feels good. And I can just connect that. There, we can come up all the way to the middle. But this is the spot right here where you wanna break for the other leg, okay? See that nice diagonal I have here? I wanna remember that right there. And from here, I'm gonna come out like that. Okay, and then here, one, two, like we did for the elbow there, and for the elbow there, inside of the elbow. And then we're gonna come down, slight taper, and out like that, okay? Now I'm just gonna give them little cuffs at the bottom. I like those cuffs. For the shoes, look how simple this is. I'm just gonna come out and back and leave it alone. Just like that. And this one, I'm gonna come down right at the corner there and straight across and leave that alone. All right, that's how we're gonna strike that contraposto pose more or less for our friend who is a farmer. And now you can bring these lines straight on down and stop just above the foot there, okay? Like that. And now we can add my favorite part, which is the hay. And this, I just do long, lines in different directions like this. See that? Long lines in different directions. That is a fun thing to do. It's fun to draw the hay like that. I like that. I don't know why that's so fun for me, but I just like the graphic depiction of hay like that. I think that's fun. Now look, we've left the face alone because as usual, I'd love for you to customize these drawings and make these your own. So you can draw whatever kind of face you want. I'm gonna do a little nose like this, a bump, bump, bump. And a little eye, just a dot, another dot. And then a smile, like so. That looks good to me. And um, I could leave it just like that. For me, that works. Uh, but you can make this farmer a man, a woman. You can do curly hair, straight hair, do whatever you like. I'm gonna leave mine like that, that's gonna do it for me. And I'm gonna slide him on over here. Okie dokie. And there's our farmer, and that's the you draw it for today. You can add a cow, you can add a chicken, you can do whatever you like to make this drawing your own. So I'd like to now go to the who made that section of our show today. This is the who made that segment, pardon me. And uh, if anyone has an idea of who this artist is, Please tell me, let me zoom in a bit there so you can see that clearly. In fact, I'll go one more click so you can really get a good look at that. That's our hint for today. I'll reveal the whole picture, but first I'll take a look in the chat and see if anybody knows who did this lovely painting, okay? Um, 
Might be an artist you're less familiar with, or maybe you know this person. Who knows? I'll give you a hint, they're no longer alive. That's all you're getting from me today, folks. So I want to make it too easy for you. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, look at that. Second guess nails it right off the bat. Laura Russo, you are very, very excellent. And you even got the name of the painting. You know what's up. You know your art history. It is indeed Mary Cassatt, Mary Cassa. I'm gonna say Cassatt because she is in fact an American artist. And so I believe that's probably how you pronounce it, but I don't honestly know. I should probably look that up. And it is indeed le thé or the tea, tea. Here is the painting. I'll get rid of my uh, menus there so you can see it really clearly. There we have it. Let's enjoy this lovely painting. Um, now, the style of this painting is probably familiar to many of you. If you were to look at it, you would say, well, that looks like Impressionism, and you would be right. Uh, Mary Cassatt, Cassa, however you pronounce her last name, uh, is in fact an American painter, but she was born in Pennsylvania. But in 1866, when she was just 22 years old, she said, I want to move to Paris to study painting, and so she did. And when she was there, it was at a time when women, believe it or not, I know this is terrible, were not allowed to attend the Ecole des Beaux-Arts in Paris. However, what she did to work around that was she took private lessons from some of the masters who taught there. Very clever idea, that. And so she learned how to paint, and uh, uh, she, learned, she was already a pretty good painter, but she was learning from one of the masters there, as well as going to the Louvre to draw and make copies of paintings that she saw there. Um, and so eventually she got to a point where uh, she was making work that was really good and was, well, she had one piece accepted at the Salon, which is the big show every year in Paris. But after that, she was having trouble getting her work in and she believed the reasons for this, and I believe too, that because she was a woman and um, uh, she didn't want to play that game. And so what was really cool was she was invited by Edgar Degas to join the Impressionists and do uh, a show with them. And when she did, um, her paintings were well received and uh, she was by that time a master of um, pastels and, and etching and she was fantastic. She had uh, two paintings really well reviewed there. She did the, the show there for a while with the Impressionists for at least the next four or five years. Um, and uh, then she returned to the States and uh, she continued to sell paintings and to help others um, buy Impressionist work. She, she was consulting with folks. Um, anyway, she was she was fantastic. I love her work and um, a lot of why she was successful and was able to make it was because of her mother who believed that all women should have the opportunity to get an education and to work and to be socially active. And so thank goodness for that because um, that philosophy really rubbed off on Mary and uh, we have uh, her wonderful work to enjoy today. And so there you go. That is our good friend, Mary Cassatt, for us to enjoy today. Now, it is time for us to move along to the animal game of animal and activity. Now you're gonna tell me an animal doing something crazy, something funny, something weird. And at the very little time we have remaining, I will draw that for you. And it's gonna be a zippy one today since we had those technical problems up front. So I'll do my best to draw as fast as I possibly can. And I'll look for your suggestions in the chat. I'll pick one really fast since I don't have a lot of time to go through them today, but I'll see what I got and I'll do my best for all of you and we'll see how it goes. So this is this is exciting, isn't it? Ooh, the pressure's on. Alrighty, so there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, Casa, Cassat, everyone's asking, um, or people were guessing correctly because you all are so smart. It's just impossible for me to fool you with these. A fly reading with big glasses. I like it. A rabbit pulling a rabbit out of a hat. That's a good one too. A duck smoking a cigar. I don't know what a crow dill is. Or is that supposed to be a crocodile? A mouse with a balloon. We did a mouse last week. All right, you know what, gang? Well, I've got about four and a half minutes. So I am going to say... Fly reading with big glasses. That's fun. Yeah, let's try the fly. I, you know, I haven't drawn any insects in the uh, animal and activity game, if you can believe it. Isn't that crazy? All right, let's give it a try. So, ba -ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. here we go. I have these big wings. And we're gonna put some glasses on this fly. Like 
that. Let's do the little fly body. Actually, I stick the wings out this way. Flies have their wings on the back. I'm from getting my bugs mixed up. There we go. Ta -da! Ta -da. And let's have this fly reading. Um, what should the fly be reading? To add a good comic element to this. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. What should they be reading? Any suggestions for the the reading content here? There we go. Maybe surprised. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. I like that. Got another leg back there. A little shadow underneath. And now we're gonna jump to it. We're going to reduce the opacity there. And let's go for a darker color. And one, two, three. There is that other eye tucked behind the glasses there. And that little fly nose or what is that anyway? Is it like a stinger? Is that what they bite you with when you got a nasty horse fly or something like that? You ever been bitten by a horse fly? I have. Yikes. That is not a good feeling, gang. Tuck one more leg back there. Anybody ever see that horror movie, The Fly? <whistles> Boy, is that a gross one. Don't recommend it. Unless you're into gross stuff. You know, I know a lot of people really like gross stuff, so I'm not one of them. I'm perfectly fine with not seeing gross stuff. Thank you very much. All right, we're gonna get these body segments looking about right. Insects, you know, that's one of those things I just, I don't draw a lot of insects. Could definitely stand to learn more about that. I'm trying to think who are some artists I know who do a great job with bug anatomy. I'm sure there are quite a few, but uh, not something I've done a lot of practice on. Whoops. Remember your perspective. Okie dokie. Whoa, shocking news. That's what he's reading. Shocking fly news. Okie dokie. Let's hide that sketch. And there you go, gang. Very cool. Fry, uh, fly reading with big glasses. I love it. Hey, wow. Time flies when you're having fun and when you have technical problems, but we still made it work and thanks for hanging out with me. Everybody, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And remember, please be kind. I will see you next time. Ciao for now.